A little bit of Ian Robson here, welcome back to an episode of Ravensport in FS19. So right now I'm going to show you the fastest way to load a trailer in this game that I know of. So I have the Ropa mouse right here, and uh, or I should say the fastest way to unload a BGA bunker. Uh, this is definitely the the only <laughs> this is definitely the way, because uh, even if you with the biggest tra biggest scoop on a, a front loader, you're doing uh, you're only doing about five to six thousand liters at a time. Whereas right now, I'm filling a fifty thousand liter uh, a fifty thousand liter trailer, for example. So I'm just going to move forward here a little bit. As you can see. This Ropa mouse takes a pretty big swath out of the uh, out of the actual um, bunker itself too, which is pretty impressive. And it, you don't have to move forward all the time; like it'll actually pull out uh, silage from all over, like from quite a distance away. So, like where you see there, that's about as far as it kind of gets, sort of thing. So, but you can see you don't have to get too crazy in how close you get to uh, the silage uh, at times, at least. You can see how I'm grabbing silage from a distance now because I haven't moved the Ropa mouse yet which is pretty awesome so you can actually clear the bunker at least one side of the bunker really easily and then the other side you kinda have to do a little bit of fiddling around with it but it's not too too bad there we go let's go ahead and move forward now it looks like my trailer might be full there too yep looks like it is so there you go 50,000 liters 52,000 liters in this case, just like that. Now one of the things you do have to do when you're working around the BGA is you have to make sure you progress time uh, so that the material gets processed as you're filling up the trailer. That's been my experience so far at least. So you have time progress. I have it at 15. Usually you can do it between 15 and 60 depending on how much material you're putting in. Like if I was just doing a straight bucket at a time, I probably wouldn't need to get too crazy with it. But because I'm doing uh, 50,000 liters, I kind of need to keep the time fairly high or fairly fast so that I can process that while I am uh, whoops, while I am working away over here and like I said before uh, you do have to um, you do have to progress time and you only get paid at midnight so depending on depending on what your what your uh, plans are I guess that dictates how you want to play it out. I usually end up selling the whole bunker in a day, or as much as I can. That's what I try for, at least. There we go. And so what I try to do here is I try to line up the trailer kind of on the side of one of the, uh, on one of the ends of the bunker, basically, so that when I start unloading silage, I can actually start moving forward as well, and then uh, the trailer will still be in line with uh, the actual Ropa mouse as well. So that's another plus side of it. This is most definitely the fastest way to empty a bunker. So I had about 500,000 liters of silage in here. So I'll just put it in perspective. So I, c I can do about the whole bunker in, I think it's about maybe half an hour, less than half an hour, something like that. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. So, Which is pretty awesome when you're looking for it. So I'm going to talk about the next purchase I'm kind of looking towards. So one of the things I noticed is that uh, I checked, I, last time I fertilized my hay crop, uh, I actually realized that I had... Uh, almost 800,000 liters of slurry sitting there, which is free fertilizer for me. So I'm thinking about moving towards this one or this one. So this is 12 meters and that's 14.8. Now ideally I would get this guy right here, the Premium Integral 2, which has a 30, 30, 30 meter wide spread and 240 meters um, required uh, horsepower, which is what we have basically. I could do this as well, which requires, I can't do that one actually. Really? I can't do that one because it has 350 horsepower, so I could use the SD700, which is this guy here. 7 meter spread. I think it cultivates at the same time, yes. Or this guy, which is 36 meters wide. So, that's the difference. So you can get this at 185,000. My tractor is not quite large enough for that, mind you, though. Am I actually full already? No. So those are kind of my options, and that's why I realized last time like, I have basically free fertilizer sitting there. Uh, that I need to use, well, that if I don't use, I'm just wasting money, basically, by using solid fertilizer. Now, I could theoretically, I suppose, sell one of my solid fertilizer spreaders, although I don't think it's worth very much anymore. Uh, let's see here. 
this guy, $17,000. That would give us a little bit of a bump up to 60000 but I'm kind of looking towards that one that is, uh, looks like that's probably full now. Let's go ahead and just raise this up. There we go. So as you can see, we have 250,000 liters of silage left. That's only five loads, which isn't very much when you work it like this. So let me go ahead and clear this bunker out, and we'll be back in a second here. So we're just on our last 100,000 liters here. So that's like two loads left, basically, and we're done. It's taking me, well, in-game probably seems like a lot of time, but maybe taking me five minutes so far. Five or ten minutes, maybe at most. And then I'll have uh, this one load, maybe one other load after this. Well, I'll definitely have one other load after this, and then that'll be it, basically. So that'll be the whole bunker emptied. So as, I, as you can see, with the rope of mouse, it doesn't take any time at all, which is when I realized how big this bunker was. Because sometimes what will happen is the bunker itself is going to be too narrow for a bunker mouse like this. But in this case, it's actually perfect size, so I can just zip up and down. Uh, and if you really want to, you can always grab the uh, silage level and then move it towards the bunker mouse too if you're waiting for things to happen. That's in our possibility at least, so almost done here. So it's coming up to midnight right now, so I thought I'd show you what happens when uh, it ticks over at midnight. So there you go, $85,000 from the BGA is what we got from that day, so we can probably tone it down now a little bit. But that's how much money you get. You can get from one day. So we didn't sell a whole lot of that. I think we maybe sold. I would say I would say you know, four hundred thousand liters of that bunker, maybe maybe a bit more of that. But that's like basically one harvest. Off that field. So it's I don't know. I would say it's worth it. Um, I just like it because it's consistent income, which is different from uh, the crops itself. Now the one problem is you're always harvesting the same oh, thing. I'm gonna find good trailer Ian. You gotta find a good trailer. I'm gonna find your trailer. Which I one? I borrowed it. Oh, the uh, the Jossman one. That little red one. Oh, the one the with the. Red. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, the little red one that you use that you've been using to put the eggs on is um I borrowed it. Did you do one of the um, transport missions? Sorry? Did you do one of the transport missions or something with it? No, I was using it to... Um, well, Spud was helping me um, transport pallets of um, horse food. Oh, okay, the cool. Shop. Well, it was just while I was waiting for my, um, for my oats to go. Another nice thing about this particular the bunker mouse is you can kind of maneuver it around, so I I can move forward still, and still be able to hit that trailer, which is nice. So thirty-seven thousand liters left. Yeah, um, Spud was there using that so to help to help me because I also had to trans. I was also buying um, bales of straw and hay. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, you know, seeing that I don't have a grass field or a mower. Well, you can use those straw bales that I have on um, by the BJ if you like. I can use which? Those straw bales that are right in front of the BJ there. Uh, aren't they yours though? Yeah, but I, I haven't touched them since <laughs> since they got put there, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Well, but that'll save me having to buy X, X of bales then. There we go. Almost finished here, folks. Thank you. Thank you. There we go, folks. Bunker is empty. Didn't take too long at all. Base I did it in about 10 minutes or so. 15 minutes, I would say, something like that. Oops, wrong way in. There we go. It's going to get the last little bit of silage in the uh, trailer here. Or is that trailer full? Looks like it's full. That's okay. And then swing this arm around here. Straighten it out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring this around here. And if you're wondering where to pick up slurry from, let me just turn that off here. This guy right here is where you get the slurry from, in case you're wondering. So, there you go. So we need a little bit more money before we can actually buy that trailer. 
We don't have the tractor for the big wig one yet, but the other one, uh, the one that's been around for ages now, oops. This guy right here, the premium integral two for $165,000. We'll be able to hit that pretty easily. Oh, I have noticed too, Ian, that when you, you know how the chickens leave the, um, the leftover wheat yep. or barley at the food trough, mm -hmm. I found that you can't pick it up with a shovel and tip it back in the trough. You won't accept it. You mean like with a front loader shovel sort of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, you were saying that before. Yeah, because I've got chickens on my single on my single player, and that's what I found. So I've tried um, shoveling it back, you know, back in the food trough using a front end loader and a bucket, um, and it won't. And it keeps up coming up saying um, that it's not it's not a, a accepted. So. I have to put it in a small trailer and then put it back in the silo or refeed it to them. Hmm, that's strange. So here's the chickens over here that Liz is talking is. about. This little area right here. Right there. Looks like they probably could use some wheat. So your apparently. trailer is back at your chickens. Yep, looks like they need some more wheat there. Let's grab some right now before I forget about it once again here. And then I do need to get to work. There we go. Yeah, so I was looking at different alternatives to try and figure out how to make harvesting this field faster. And I thought maybe if I were to mow it first, it'd be faster. But then you couldn't hire a worker to, for the forge harvester, so that doesn't work so well. So you would need someone else to uh, be with you. So you can do, I can put corn on here, and that's what I'm going to try eventually, is to see how much corn, or how much the price of corn would be, uh, how much more silage we would get from corn. There we go. Let's come over here, grab a little wheat from our one of our last wheat harvests. Don't need very much. 4,000 is more than enough. I'll probably still have extra from that even. And the funny thing is I thought you'd be destroying the crop when you drive back and forth in the grass, and so far I haven't noticed a difference at all. So I've just been driving back and forth on it all over the place. We've had any problems basically, so. Which is pretty good. Very good. I'm waiting for a rainstorm to clean off the equipment, by the way, in case you're wondering. Alright, let's give the uh, chickens a little bit of wheat, because they are all out. And when they're all out, they're not productive. There we go. Oh, they took all of that. Oh, that's pretty good. I forget, how many chickens do I have? 100 now? 99. Yeah, I have 100 chickens, so... That's probably why they took so much, because last time I had like 77 chickens, so. Anyways, folks, that's it for me for today. Hope you enjoyed. My name's Ian Robson. If you like the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19 and Ravensport. I'll catch you guys later.